If you've ever been night diving and seen bioluminescence, you're probably still telling your friends what an amazing experience it was. Today, with modern technology, there is another experience you can have underwater involving taking along an ultraviolet or black light. For many years, scientists have noticed that certain types of marine life actually glow underwater when you shine an ultraviolet or black light on them. Further research found that this was caused by certain proteins or chlorophyll actually absorbing the fluorescent or black light and re-emitting the light in beautiful shades of green, yellow, and sometimes red. To better understand how this works, we need to look at light itself. As humans, we can only see light energy in the blue to red wavelength zone. Light outside the blue zone is known as ultraviolet, and light outside the red zone is called infrared. If you look at a graph which shows how much light you get from an incandescent dive light, it appears to give off light at all the different wavelengths. However, it seems like there is more red than blue. Now look at a white LED dive light. Once again, you see all of the wavelengths, but a little more blue than red. This is why LED lights seem to appear bluish, while the old style dive lights are reddish. In order to see fluorescence underwater, you need a special LED lamp, which only gives off light in a narrow range. Two kinds are shown here. One is blue and the other is ultraviolet. It is difficult or impossible to see the ultraviolet light, while the blue light is quite intense. Here's where it gets interesting. If you shine a white light on a red anemone, only the red light is reflected back to your eyes and you see the anemone as red. In the world of fluorescence, something else happens. You would expect that by shining a blue light on that same anemone, it would look blue. However, some anemones light up green or yellow or even red. What is happening? The blue light is being absorbed by the anemone and then released as a new color. This phenomenon is known as fluorescence. Not all marine plants or animals do this, but those that do have their own distinct color displays for you to discover. Until recently, most fluorescent divers used a blue LED dive light, which gives off blue light like we saw in the graph. But there is a problem. When you bathe the reef in blue light, it is often so bright that it obscures the fluorescence from some of the marine creatures. Divers had to resort to another lighting trick a yellow filter stops blue light and allows the other colors to pass. And now for the underwater kinetics part of the story. We have sent members of our dive test team all over the world with different types of blue and ultraviolet lights. They found out that blue LEDs actually work quite well when the marine animals fluoresce in very bright, intense colors. Other divers have found that they can use the blue light and resort to a very simple trick. They can use Adobe Photoshop. Simply click a yellow filter and you will hold back the blue and the fluorescent colors will pop up on your screen in all their glory. Ultraviolet light actually works the best for most divers in our test team because they found that they can't see the ultraviolet light, yet the marine animals react to it and give off all their colors and they're able to see it without the use of a filter at all. Because the discovery of fluorescent marine life is relatively new, there is much to be learned. And that is why we offer both the blue and ultraviolet dive lights. Our SL4 is now available with either a 455 nanometer blue or a 395 nanometer ultraviolet LED. It is powered with four disposable alkaline C batteries and the beam is medium wide. If you prefer a rechargeable lithium ion light, our Aqualite is now available with a 395 nanometer ultraviolet LED. The broad beam of the Aqualite works extremely well with wide angle underwater cameras, including GoPro. For more information, check out our website at uwkinetics.com.